as you may know by that, this fit tier upgrade, the Wizard Lord Phoenix, has been received a buff in the 3.2 recent update in BTT Battles 2. If you guys don't know what they have done, here's what they did. It's saying here that the 1xx Seek Eternity Rate used to be now to 360, it is now 600. And the 3xx Arcane Mastery used to be from 1400, it is now 1200. And last but not least, the X5X Wizard Lord Phoenix ability main projectiles used to be down to 30. It is now 40 damage. And they explain Wizard Top Half has high purists but often struggling to make use of it all due to its slow turning speed. So that has been increased quite a bit. Alongside this has been received a minor price cut so that it can perform better as the starting tower. Wizard Lord Phoenix damage has always felt a little bit underwhelming when faced with fast. So we upper damage. Which is why for today's video we're going to be testing out and see how good is the Wizard Lord Phoenix buff is going to be inside of battles too because i know the wizard lord phoenix guys decide to get some good amount of buffs especially with the other upgrades inside of battles too we will find out if the wizard lord phoenix is actually strong or maybe it's not strong like who knows man but if you guys don't know my channel wants to see more content like this make sure you sub also smash the like button if i'm not already but without further ado let's just jump right into today's video all right here we go ladies and gents we got this good map dino graveyard and we're going to be cooking up with some strategy here which is going to be exili wizard farm and ice so we're going to be starting off with the wizard monkey all the way and i do want to somehow get up to the fireball all the way to get to the wall fired for the early game Hopefully, we'll get that up before we need to. But first, we need to go for the Exili on round one, which is going to be the only way. Um, if I could place on Exili somewhere, I could probably just be fine with it. But let's get her as of right now. And this guy will be going for the good old sub. And he's going for the Gwendolyn, which is going to be the loadouts. So, I'm feeling that this guy, he might somehow try it out with some type of strategy. Which I know you guys may know that the strategy right here, which is sub. I think he's going to be using some type of sub farm and super. Which I have heard many people has been saying that sub farm super used to be one of the main best strategy inside of the game here. But we got up to the wall of fire just to be safe here. Because I know in a matter of fact that wall of fire might easily help out against like any storm out of the early game. But hopefully by the time, if we do need to make sure that we have to go for the upgrade to... Maybe we'll go for the Necro as soon as possible here. Because apparently with the Necro, with the later rounds here, I've been thinking that we could probably still manage to summon defend like any early game rushes and definitely much more here. So let's see if we do somehow get up to our first farm. As it's going to be the way, so let's go ahead and get that up as of right now. But yeah, if you guys don't know what our goal for today's video is going to be, is we're going to try to showcase and test out the newly buffed Wizard Lord Phoenix that was buffed in the 3.2 recent update inside of Battles 2. They made the Wizard Lord Phoenix give the amount of the damage, used to be now to now 30, it is now to 40, which is definitely going to be a pretty good amount of buff that we want to give it a try. Also, speaking of that, I need to um, be making sure that we need to go for the greater production all the way. And he sent me with some whites here. Okay, I'm going to tower boost because I'm a feeling this is going to be pretty hard to be able to defend some whites. And I need to go for another wizard just to play a little bit safer. Because again, on round 8, it's going to be pretty hard. Because apparently with the round 8, there is going to be some type of purple rushes that we have to watch out for. So I think my plan here is we need to spend a couple more fireballs just to be able to help out against that. Because along with the fireball spam, I think we might be fine here. Since I know fireball will easily allow us to pop the blacks very, very easily here. Um, I do need to go for the plantation probably in the later sooner here because I know plantation might be pretty hard to get since I know we don't have a better technique with using the wizard and I need to somehow go for the upgrade to the good old fireball upgrade as it's possible. Um, if I do need to get that up to the fireball before round A, I think we might be fine here. Yup, he sent me with some blacks or purple, sorry. Okay, let's uh, spam a couple more fireballs just to be safe. It's definitely going to be pretty hard to be able to beat up against any purples here. Also, bro, are you kidding me? Dude, I've been leaking down so much here. Like, I don't know how my my zebras literally leak through against any wall of fire, which is definitely pretty annoying to me. But we got that up to the necro all the way. So I do want to somehow get up to the plantation as soon as possible. Um, I need to make sure that we need to go for it as of right now before the ramping here. Um, oh, we're like $10 off. Are you serious? Yeah, that's definitely not good though. Now, we're definitely way behind farms because this guy's going to be using some type of best strategy inside of BT Battles 2 because with the strategy, which is known as Sub Farm Super, you could somehow defend some counter rushes here with a long of using the Super Monkey, which is definitely going to be pretty difficult just to be able to layer it against the like type of rushes and definitely much more here. 
Um, but we're gonna go for the Ice Tower, just able to help out against that. Also, let me put some purples behind. Oh, I think this guy might somehow... Oh, I don't know if this is going to be pretty impossible. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to counter this guy, because basically this guy's been playing a little bit, a bit too aggressive. Oh, he's gonna Tower Boost. Oh, I think he might be dead to the next round. I mean, I want to go late game, which is going to be my main goal. But the thing is, I really don't want to somehow try to take it late against this guy that decides to play a little bit, a bit aggressively. And I ran out of Tower Boost. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to counter against this guy, because... Literally, there's nothing I could do. Just able to win the game here. I mean, I just have to counter all out against him here. But I think I'm going to be doing is... Yeah, he's dead to the rush. That's what I thought. And he's got super. Yeah, I definitely knew it. <laughs> Every single player I've been facing, they've been using sub farm super along with using the best strategy of all inside the game here. But I want to try to take it late for today. But <laughs> apparently, I ran out of tower boost, which is definitely pretty unfortunate. But we wanted to save it for the tower boost for the later rounds. So we can easily summon defense some kind of rushes here during round 30. Uh, but we'll hop into another one. Hopefully we won't find some other players that decide to run some dumb strategies like this. So I'll catch you guys when we get to the next one. Alright, so we're back in the second game, which is going to be the map Mayan. And this time, we got my opponents going to be using some type attack eco strategy instead of using the sub farm super strategy. Because apparently against sub farm super, it's going to be pretty much difficult to able to face while this guy is going to be playing a little bit too aggressive against me. Uh, but this time we're going to try to go for the ice shards which is going to be the way now we do have one plantation but i want to try to go for the ice shards just able to help out during this mid game here because i know with the ice shards along with the necro i think we might be able to easily pull this off here inside of the game here if we don't somehow end up like leaking down a trivia ton uh, but this time, I want to see if we do somehow try to somehow go for a better farm technique inside the game here. Because I know along with the wizard plus with the ice during early game, it might be pretty difficult just able to handle against any early game rushes, especially on round A. Because along with the fireball spam, you're probably going to get drained a lot when you need to go for a couple more fireball spams and much more here. Uh, but this time, I'm going to go for a farm once again. And I need to go for the, for the straight up defense here for the later rounds. Because along with the share of defense here against the mobs and much more here, then I think we might have to somehow go for the 40 straight up defense here. Like go for the upgrade to the top half. Like go for the arcane mastery or the arcane spike. Because arcane spike might easily help out against any mob rushes or BFBs, ZMGs, etc. And by the way, too, I'm actually facing this guy, which is known as TTV, which is known as Twitch.tv BTD. It's Lucas. I don't know if this guy knew who I am, but I think he probably did not know. That I'm trying to record some content to showcase the buff Wizard Lord Phoenix. I mean, if he knew I was recording, then I think that might be the better way that we could try to manage to try to take it lay. But to showcase the buff for the Wizard Lord Phoenix inside of Battles 2. But we'll go for the Dragon Breath, just able to help out with it. And I know my farms are definitely not as good though. Uh, so let's see if we do need to go for the upgrade to... I think we might save it to go for the Richard Facility or go for the Monkey Wall Street as soon as possible. Also, Zebras is going to be pretty much difficult just able to face along with the Necro plus with the plus with the Ice Tower in it. But I think we are going to be fine here since I know we got the better technique with using the good old Wiz along with the Fireball strategy. I'm not sure this guy will set to send me with some ZMGs here because if he decides to send me one ZMG or so, then I think we might have to summon defend that rush by going for the good old Arcane Spike or just get up to the Phoenix just able to help out against some ton of rushes here. Um, but I'm feeling that this guy, yeah, he is still sending me with some zebras here because I think many people saying that zebra eco is going to be way better just able to send a lot, a ton of a good amount of eco here because again, zebras guys is definitely the best here than purple's eco, especially you need to somehow get a lot, a ton of monies, etc. And by the way, this guy never reviewed his third tower, which is definitely pretty weird. Maybe this guy might be going for a tag village sniper or maybe a tag village super because I think many people has been doing is to not review his third tower, which is known as the Super Monkey, which literally makes sense that people decide to do this to try to hide his third tower, just to review his secret tower, which is going to be the layer around here. Um, let's see if we could... I think I'm gonna go for the Monkey Wall Street as of right now, actually. So let's go and get that up as of right now. And I will go for the Press of the Darkness, just able to help out against any type of rushes and much more here with the strategy. Because along with the Press of the Darkness against the ETs, I'm not just sure how good is it going to be against any Moa Poppy powers against that. But I believe we might be fine against that here. Oh, Super Monkey! I definitely knew it! Super Monkey, Tack, and Village. What in the utter odds, man? I never know this guy would be going for a Super Monkey. Literally, I've been seeing many people decide to run Super Monkey 
but this time with tag village which pretty makes sense because back in player of fire everybody's been using this strategy a lot recently here inside of battles too but we'll go for the person of darkness just able to help out against any mid game rushes or maybe the late game rushes and much more here also we need to make sure that we need to go for the wizard lord phoenix because this is going to be my main goal is we do need to get up to the wizard lord phoenix as soon as possible here and i need to go for the beast central like as soon as possible because apparently i've been way behind farming because i was trying to um try to like play a little bit safer because with farm ice is definitely gonna be pretty hard to be able to handle it though but there we go with the beast central on the banana farm now we need to start focus on try to somehow defend some counter bad rushes here like i'm not too sure if this guy will accept to send me with some one bad at a time but we'll see if we could go for the good old Whistler Phoenix, which is going to be the only way. It only cost 50k. Yeah, it's cost 50k. So we had to make sure that we need to save it to go for the for the good old Wizard Lord Phoenix as soon as possible. And he stopped beaconing for a second. I think this guy might be able to somehow to build up defense here a lot. And it's already round 30, by the way. Oh, we're very close here. We're like three dollars off or three thousand dollars off. Um Hopefully this guy does not counter me a lot because if he does then I just have to be really careful against some gigantic fortified bat rushes here But that is why we need to make sure that we have a lot ton of the vision facilities all over the entire map And after we have everything set up to go all the way to get to the better stray Then I'm feeling we could probably still manage to somehow defend that fortify all-out rushes with the long with the strategy But we'll see what's gonna happen during the linking ramping because I need to make sure that we need to get up to the arc mage as soon as possible But there's the arc mage by the way And let's see if we do need to go for this upgrade to the snowstorm because I want to place down like a couple more towers Above the waters all the way and I need to um, be making sure that we have a lot ton up the straight of defense here inside of battles too so holy cow i just don't even know if we need to someone to get a lot ton of the strip to go for the phoenix or just go for the for the arcane spice spam maybe just go for the phoenix first and you'll be good against that oh fortify bat oh okay let's uh start defending that rush i need to go for the need to get that impel first and then just build up the fence here and let's see how good is the buff wizard lord phoenix is going to be so i'll use my wizard lord phoenix use all my phoenix to spam going on and let's start building a couple more phoenix just to be sure we do have a lot of them straight i'll use my totem just to be safe and i'll tower boost because i think i might be dead here like i'm not even sure um oh my god please defend okay use that oh i need to get that brittle what the heck Oh, no. Oh, um, I, I might be dead here, guys. Nope, I'm dead. Bro! Alright, so we're back on round 37, but this time we got a lot ton of the wizards up, along with the phoenix up, and especially along with the with the arcane spike and much more. Now, we have to make sure that we have to somehow defend like an all-out rush before this guy decides to send me one. Also, we need to get the S Brittle, by the way. Don't forget about that, because S Brittle will, will easily give bonus plus per damage to the Maw class balloons. Uh, but it's already round 38, and unfortunately, we have the low lies advantage. So I want to see if this guy might counter me with some all-out rushes against me. Uh, I just want to see how good is the buff Wizard Lord Phoenix is going to be in battles too. But first, we'll go for the impel, just able to help out against some stuff here. But um, hopefully by the time this guy decides to send me with some rushes, I'm feeling that he needs to somehow send me like a rush. Maybe send one fortified bat. Like, please send me one fortified bat. Like, I really wish this guy would send me one. Uh, but we'll go for the upgrade to the absolute zero. And yep, it's already round 39. So let's go ahead. Oh, he sent me one okay um let's start defending that rush actually so i will manage to somehow use my wizard lord phoenix also i have level t uh, 20 no i don't have level 20 okay i'll use my ability use every with uh phoenix is all the back let's see how good is the wizard lord phoenix buff is going to be inside of battles too and i gotta start timing it very very quickly i don't even know if we're gonna defend that rush oh we are defending i'll use that all right, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice, we defend it. Okay, let's see how many pops for the Whistler. Only 60k? Bro, are you freaking kidding me, bro? Also, I gotta start rushing right now. I just realized that. I have the low lies advantage. Oh my god. I don't know we're not going to defend them, I'm feeling. I'll use the ability once again. Use all of them. 
Come on. I don't know how good the Wizard Lord Phoenix is going to be, but I don't even know we're going to win this game for sure because I need to get the victory. Use that. He sent me with DT's behind. Oh my god, that was actually pretty insanely close. Send me a more a lot then. What? A tower boost. Oh, it's already a fine around. Yeah, I have no choice. I have to counter. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't know why this guy stole every super monkey. I mean, to be fair, we did get to see the good old action here with the Wizard Lord Phoenix. I forgot to check the pot count earlier. Like, I think I saw it earlier, though. But I think my guess has to be, like, 100k plus or more with the pop count. But again, we try our best to try to showcase the Wizard Lord Phoenix buff. I mean, to be fair, in my opinion, I think it might be pretty good standard buff from the Wizard Lord Phoenix. So let me know if you guys think the Wizard Lord Phoenix is actually good. Again, just be rolling though. Bam, I'm gonna call it for today's video. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys have not subbed, please subscribe. And also smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And peace everybody.